Porsche Cup car has always been one of iRacing's most popular and demanding cars to drive. No driver assists, extremely limited aero, and most notably, a very rearward weight distribution. This means this car requires a unique driving style to get the most out of it compared to your standard GT3 or front engine vehicle. Or at least, it once did. In the 2021 Season 4 build, the Porsche 991 Cup car was replaced by its more modern counterpart, the 992. However, the new Cup car is very different from its predecessor, and not everybody agrees that that is for the better. It may be more realistic to the real-life car, but many think the new Cup car has lost its unique personality and characteristics that made it so popular in the first place. So, now that we've had the car for an entire season, I thought this would be the perfect chance to dive in and compare the fundamental differences between the old and the new. Driving the two cars back to back perfectly demonstrates the differences between these two cars. The now legacy content Porsche Cup car is just so raw, aggressive and in your face. It is an animal to tame, leaving you on the edge of your seat at every single corner with a question forever lurking in your mind of, will I even make it out of this corner in one piece, or has the car finally decided it's my time to pay a visit to the barriers? It is such a challenge to drive, but in the best kind of way. It feels how a race car truly should. And then we switch over and take a look at the new car and it couldn't be any more different to drive. It feels so much more refined and modern to the point of feeling, dare I say it, a little dull to drive. Sure, on cold tyres it still offers up a challenge to keep the car pointed in the right direction, but after that first half a lap when the tyres are up to temperature, you're pretty safe for the rest of the race unless you're majorly overdriving the car. It doesn't fight you, it's just a very compliant car. The remarks of this new Porsche 992 Cup car simply being a GT3 car with limited aero and no driver assists, a little harsh, but also not that far from the truth either. But that's not to say that an old car is an overwhelmingly better car than the new car, because that would simply not be true. The downhill braking zone into the hairpin at Barber Motorsports Park where I tested these two cars causes an incredible amount of rear differential locking in the old car, which was a big complaint from many drivers when taking on this beast. It is very uncomfortable to deal with when pushing to the limit, which resulted in some pretty clumsy accidents with the car constantly squirming and hopping around under braking. Most frustratingly about this though, is that this car does not allow for any kind of differential changes, so everybody is stuck struggling with this rear locking under hard braking. The new Porsche Cup car meanwhile, handles the braking area with barely a sweat broken. Many have pinpointed this particular area as one of the most significant areas of improvement between the two cars, and well, I for one can't disagree with that either. The second big difference you'll notice between these two cars is the 992 Cup car can handle the curbs night and day better than the 991 Cup car. It really isn't even a contest between the two in this department. Attacking the fast left right chicane in the old car was a daunting challenge as clipping one of the inside curbs would more often than not result in a significant rebound with the car bouncing its way towards the inevitable crash. This is probably the overall most noticeable difference between these two cars. The 992 Cup car, although not allowing you to handle like let's say a V8 supercar, is much more compliant over the curbs. You can attack them without fear of the car suddenly departing stage left, and this plays a significant factor in where this new car does end up being slightly faster over a lap around these circuits. Using the iRacing high downforce baseline setups on both cars, it was only 3 tenths of a second between the two Cup cars in our ride lap time. And yet, the 992 Porsche gained most of its times in sectors 3 and sectors 4, where getting nice curb strikes plays a significant factor in your average cornering speeds. Still, such as the strengths and weaknesses of these cars, this does vary quite a lot from track to track, in some cases the new car being over a second a lap faster than the old generation. But I thought it was worth looking at just a little bit closer at where the strengths and weaknesses of these cars do actually lie. The old generation Porsche is much quicker in a straight line than its more modern brother. 
While the visually stunning 992 can barely hit 277 km an hour around an open super speedway, the old cup car can quite easily hit 285 and would be able to go even faster if it wasn't restricted by the 8500 RPM rev limiter on the car. It feels like it has plenty more in the tank and I'd estimate that somewhere in the low 290s would be possible if basic transmission and gearing tuning were possible. Speed difference in a straight line is honestly quite surprising and even more so when you factor in that the new car can only just hit 286 km an hour with a draft. The old car also accelerates better often carrying exit speeds very close and comparable to the 992, but often ending up 3 to 5 km an hour faster at the end of the straights. While you won't notice as much out on track in terms of the sense of speed, it does explain a lot as to why the much easier to drive Porsche isn't that much quicker than the car it replaced. On the other side of the coin though, the new car is much better on the brakes. I took both cars to iRacing Super Speedway to do some braking tests and from 250 km an hour, the new car was able to decelerate all the way to a complete stop in 30 meters less than the old car. They really are very different cars though at the end of the day, despite allegedly carrying the exact same DNA as each other. For me, I do miss how you had to drive the old car. Yes, it was always wanting to kill you and left you tiptoeing in many situations, but this new car just lacks so much personality in comparison. It is a delightful car to race and I've had some good fun competing in it in the past season, but for a car to just hot lap in and drive around by yourself, it does feel like there is just a little bit of a spark missing from this new car. In our hometown.